welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day down under. Let's see what shells we can find. First find of the day is looking pretty good. Check it out. Wow, that looks like a big boy. It does look like it's missing the tip of it, but that's all right. Let's check it out. Whoa, really nice color. Look at that, and it's actually a freak. Look at that. How cool is that? A freak magnificent Volo. Really nice color. It's definitely a bit beaten up on the top, but that's awesome. I don't think I've ever found a freak uh, magnificent Volo. That's cool. Look at these piles here. Let's check out what else is in them. Let's go for a little dig. That was a really nice find. Hopefully there's no crabs. Coral, rocks, little coral plate there. Oh, that's a tiny moon snail. Little orange one. It's pretty cool. What else? Anything? I don't think so. Let's check out the other hole. See what we can find. Nothing. A stick. Piles here right at the front of the beach. How cool is this? Look at all of these shells right here. Just hundreds, probably thousands, and look. It might be a whole Arabian. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you think this is whole or broken or alive or what? Yes, that's sweet. How nice is that? What a score so far. So we've got this one and the giant volute so far. That's awesome. It's almost a sub-adult. It's got barely any teeth there. That's wicked, eh? Nice. Let's look through the rest of these piles here. Guarantee you there's some good stuff in here. Like, look how deep it is. That's awesome. Just piles on piles. Rocks, shells, anything can be in here. Comment down below if I miss anything as well. There's an old broken uh, bonnet. Oh, there's a snake head and a crown cone. Cool. Nice. So we're just about to leave. As you can see, it's getting really choppy here and uh, pretty cloudy. It's actually raining a little bit. And I was checking out these pools here and look, might have a decent sized volley here. These ones are always exciting to find when they're half buried like this. And full of sand, but hey, that's a really nice color. Always missing the tip, of course. No idea why. Maybe when the animal dies, uh, they break off the tip or something, but that's cool. Look at the colors. It's very nice. Pretty shiny, too. Well, we better get out of here from this rain. It's totally changed today. Huge pile sitting right here. We've got a ton of shells. But check this out, a tiny textile. Ew, that's sweet. I haven't found one that size in a long time. How cool is that? Tiny fella. Just check out how many shells are here as well. I've got an old, old, old Arosa. What else we got? Operculum, cowries. Oh, oh. It's rough still today. It's pretty much almost low tide and it's still pretty rough, but that was a nice little find. Nice little textile. I haven't found one in a while actually. At least a week and a half. I think we'll leave that and we'll come back to it. Not much else here. Images here today. Right. Now we're about 10 meters from where we just were, that little honey hole over there. Come over here to check out these piles around here. I look down and look, there's another Arabian cowrie hiding away under here. They're just everywhere on this side right now and it's pretty sweet. It's a bit old, it's a bit rustic looking, but hey, it's an Arabian. I never ever ever find Arabian cowries on this side at all. So that's really nice to find uh, two of them. Awesome. Let's see what else is around here. I wonder how many of those we find today. Anything here? What is that red thing? Some sort of weird rock. No idea. Probably not gonna keep it. Anything in here? Oh. 
I had to pull out this little uh, Triton shell here. I thought it was pretty cool shape. Really thin. These are usually everywhere here though, so I don't usually take them. I'll keep it though. It's nice. What else is around? I have to wait for this uh, tide to drop back down again because I want to look in there and all around here. Bolu down here. I have to be a bit quick. I don't want to get hit by a wave. See it sitting? Oh, that's stuck. I gotta be quick on that one. It's very stuck. But I have to be careful here. See it right there? Looks good. Looks like it still has the tip. Can you just watch my back? Where do I stand? There we go. Oh, I got it, maybe. It's very stuck. There we go. Look at that little fella. That's sweet. What a nice little score. It wasn't even as stuck as I thought. That's very nice. See? Cool. Let's get away from this water's edge. It's very nice. Huh. Cool, that was. Guys, it is another day. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It's a really windy day right now. Got a couple of big shell piles around here. Uh, let's see what we got. It's been about a week and a half since I've been shelling, so it's pretty exciting. Got some surfboard fin under here. Wow, I've got quite a collection of these now. I've probably found about two dozen. Pretty sweet. They're one of the most colorful ones I've found. Right, let's check it out over here. We've got a big pile. Looks like I'm the only one at the beach today. What do we got down here? Do we see anything? I do see a couple of things actually. Let's get down in here, get the shoes wet. We have, what I noticed first was this old droop. Super old droop actually. Probably not even gonna keep that. We've got a big old textile piece, it's a shame. And a tiny little old bonnet much else in there so we'll keep looking around lots of wind today uh, hopefully it's not affecting the camera too much looks like we've got a pile in here don't see too much I haven't found a lot in here uh, recently a bunch of live snails down there that's pretty cool actually I don't think I've seen that before let's come around this way a bit I did notice a big pile at the back here. Imogen's here today. What do we got? Uh, oh, I see a hairy triton actually. And whoa, we actually got quite a good pile in here. We got a stuck magnificent volute. Pretty cool, always missing the tip. If you guys are not new to the channel, you guys know I always find those with uh, no tip. Pretty annoying. Pretty cool looking scallop there color at least what's in here tiny moon snail just big shell pile in here uh, what else do we see yeah I saw this hairy triton actually Let's check it out nice decent little sized fella nice little hairy triton haven't found one in a while too so there's two shells there look at the pile massive pile Go. Look at that. That looks like a uh, Arabian. Don't usually find Arabians over here. And it's pretty beaten up, I'll be honest. Definitely not one of the best I've ever seen. Nice. I knew there'd be some good stuff in here. There's probably lots more under it all as well. Might go for a dig through it. Can you hold those? Hopefully no crabbies bite my fingers again. Always happens. I really should put my glove on. It is in my bag. There's pieces of coral, sea urchin, spines. Maybe under here. Broken stuff. Good little spot though. 
very good spot for broken and shell grit. That is deep in shells. Uh, not too much though. Alright, let's see what else we can find inside now. And as you guys know, these sea hairs get washed up during the high tide. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. It doesn't get dry up here very often at all. Close as you can. We probably get four or five of these guys every single time we come here. Yeah, wherever you think. Just where there's water. Poor fella. He was almost out of luck. <laughs> Might have a uh, live Erosa carry shell here. Have a look, super slimy. Yeah, definitely alive. But look at this one. It's got this uh, attack wound on it. That's pretty cool. Pretty different. I, I don't think I've ever seen too many uh, live erosas. Maybe one or two, if that. So that's a cool little find. Very cool. We'll uh, leave him right up under here. Sweet. The end of the beach now, and uh, there's a couple more sea has stuck in these little areas yes there's quite a bit of like water around here but how is he going to get out of here in time so we are going to move him a couple of meters dude this one is massive oh come on oh, okay he's pretty scared um should we leave him there or well, we can get him. well yeah i'm not sure yeah the tide's still dropping for hours Come on, buddy. There we go. So they release this ink that you've just seen when they are uh, feeling a threat. But I'm no threat to this fella. I'm just trying to help you out. There you go, buddy. Sit next to your friend. So this ink isn't uh, toxic to us, but it is to dogs. So if you're going shelling with your dogs, be safe with about, about those fellas. Yeah found myself a good looking cherry down here and just as I was about to step oh that's actually really nice it just needs a little bath but uh, yeah just as I was about to step I actually stood on this uh, fishing lure attached to a whole lot of fishing line I don't know if you could see it on the video but uh, definitely not a first but we will get that out of the reef hopefully without catching myself there we go nice little jig head yeah we'll definitely oh no i dropped the cherry definitely get that and all of its uh line out of the rock out of the water but that was a nice cherry i guess i've been rewarded for taking this out cool let's get all this line out